Daytona International Speedway, and it's Wednesday. A lot of action out here today. Final practice for Thursday's Twin 150s. Twin 150s that'll be running in the afternoon, starting about 2 o'clock, 2.15, 2.30, whenever they get around to turn on the TV sets. To me, the 150s just beg to be run at night in prime time. We saw what a prime time race looks like Saturday night shootout. Those guys were wild. Tracks like, got a lot more grip. Action's a lot better. It's about 80 degrees out here today. A lot better than it was the 40 degrees last week. Cold freeze. Warm weather. Slippery track. Cars slipping and sliding. Single file racing. Pretty good amount of time, probably, especially if it goes long green toward the end. I like them cold. Good grippy track. Tires holding on. Cars four wide. We'll see if that's what we have in Thursday's 150s. We got Martin Truex on the pole. For the first 150, he won the pole for the Daytona 500. For Richard Childress engine. And we got Mark Martin on the outside of the front row for the 500 and on the pole for the second 150 on Thursday. Also in a Chevrolet. We'll see if it's Henry Power or Childress Power that wins on Thursdays. Eight of the top ten cars in qualifying were Chevrolets. Talk to Carl Edwards. He says he's not sure what it's going to take. He thinks it's going to take a little bit of patience, a little bit of smarts, not making mistakes. And that's awful hard. This track out here is like a two-lane highway, two-lane country road compared to De Talladega. According to some of the drivers, we went around with Jimmy Johnson the other day in that brand new Camaro Pace car. Man, this place is bumpy, and it's tight. A lot of skid marks all over the place, and I can see why. These guys try to go three wide, and that's only a two wide racetrack. In fact, sometimes they try to go four wide. We saw that with Kyle Busch. I want to see how Kyle's car handles down here. Not really sure where the Toyotas stack up. We know Chevrolet's got horsepower. We know Jack Roush is probably waiting for Vegas and California. His cars tend to run really well on those mid-sized tracks. This has been a Chevrolet track for a long time, even though Dodge won over Toyota last spring. We'll see Thursday's 150s. Just what Jack Roush's Fords and those Joe Gibbs Toyotas can do with all those Chevrolets. Mike Mulhern, Daytona, for MikeMulhern.net.